Hey guys, it's the Solo Cloth here, and today so in some Monster Legends video, we're going to be going over Rebel for Ahsoka, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not you should get her out of her current mini maze. So I swung get right into it. All right, so Rebel for Ahsoka is a support, and her traits are Dodge Area, Cooldown Immunity, and Area Drown. Her rank zero is amazing. Dodge Area is very, very good. Her rank one is kind of really bad, and rank three is just okay. So yeah, her best trait is definitely the rank zero. And then her relics are Trap and Mask, which are both pretty decent. And now I swung down to her pro and cons she has a great supporting and stamina restore maximum stamina increase control removal double damage as well as dodge area which are all amazing she also has an amazing tray a good relic slots in mass and then she also has access to a thunder skill as a water slash metal monster which is pretty cool she also has a really high speed mostly low cooldowns water slash metal in a fire slash light meta and then her cons are no ner no access to per or td high stamina cost on best moves and four cooldown on one move so yeah, those are some pretty big cons but let's go on down to the moves to see if they really matter so we're just going to start on the top move so this one gives team 100 stamina with control removal and double damage that is an amazing move right there like very very good and then she also has two moves that you can pick from right here she has an ally dodge area with 20 percent stamina and then she also has a double stamina with 50 percent so those are very interesting i would probably go with the first one though for the dodge area because that is very very good you really don't want to give that up and then she also has an aoe shock and drown which is pretty cool and then she has two more moves you can pick from she has a team 30 percent stamina with damage boost or she has a 15 water damage with drown i don't know why you would ever pick the water damage with drown one definitely go with the stamina and damage boost so yeah overall those moves are very good i like all of them quite a bit especially this one right here this is an amazing move right here the team 100 stamina with control removal and double damage that is such an amazing move Move. so yeah definitely go and get this monster she's in a mini maze so she isn't really hard to get and yeah she's definitely worth it she has some pretty amazing moves let me know down in the comments if you guys think differently though let me know if you guys don't really like her if you think that she's really good and yes yeah, is in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye